PyCharm is one of the most popular IDEs for Python development. There are other IDEs like Eclipse which has Python plugins which are good for Python development but PyCharm seems to be best fit for Python and this PyCharm is developed solely for Python development. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. So in this session let us see about how to create a project in PyCharm and start working on it. I already opened my PyCharm console. This is version 2018 but the latest versions are also similar way of creating projects and working on it with some minor differences and improvements. So in this uh, in this window you can see you can create a new project or you can open a open an existing project which is there in your system or you can uh, check out from the version control system like git or subversion. You can also configure uh, the settings from here but all this uh, can be done after creating the project as well. So let's go ahead and create a new project. So you would have already have a location in your system where you want to store your Python project. So in my case I have C Python workspace and I just put a name for this project my big project and then there is an option of creating the virtual environment which is um, if you select the drop down in here it's small if you select the drop down in here and it will open up this uh, options in here new environment using virtual env which would have been already installed in your python installation and uh, in my case i have python 6 3.6 and python 2.7 so I select new environment here and it's using the virtual ANV and the same workspace inside my project and then uh, there will be created a folder created VENV and the base interpreter is 3.6 so my project's environment would be 3.6 because uh, the base version base interpreter I have selected is 3.6 I can select other options as well Python 2.7 as well so can, you have an option of libraries to inherit from the base Python. I just, uh, I just don't need. I just need a fresh Python. So I go ahead and create it. It's taking some time. Okay. So after uh, my project has been created, you can see it in the console in here. My big project and the virtual environment uh, is in here in this folder. So my project has been created, and this is the console with the terminal here. You by default you will get the virtual environment a Python virtual environment and within the folder of your project you would you would be already inside that folder and there's a Python console as well if you want to run try out anything from here option is here and then of course the terminal from where you can run commands or or the run the Python project Python scripts from here so I will start adding a new package here can select python package and i'll just name it as main here and okay and this will create since this is a package it will create the init.py within the within the package within this folder main and can go ahead and add a python file in here i will name it as simple filter sorry and then I select the Python file in here and click OK. What I'll do is I'll copy the calculator class from here and I'll paste it here. And then I just hit Control S to save this one. So my class is has been created uh, within this my project in here. And you can try to run it from here. Just right click on any where in this file and to run simple calculator and then I get the output in here down below in the run option in here and I just select one second number three and what I want to do is addition and get the result in here so I'll just exit it for now so this is how you can create the project and add start adding files you can start creating multiple packages and folders and start adding your files in this project so I showed you how to run it from here run simple calculator right click anywhere you can also run from terminal in here come to the terminal and do a Python and you can so or and I want to add and addition is there okay 
so you can run it from here or you can also run it from the command prompt windows command prompt but it's easier to run it from here you don't need to open go to another console for running it so that's all in this video thank you so much